Hello traders, Gary Wagner with the Gold Forecast. It is Friday, finally, 25th day of February, approximately 10 o'clock in Honolulu, Hawaii, and this is the Daily Report, our weekend review. Gold is currently trading higher this morning, trading at 1408, 1409. That is the bid ask spread, putting up about $7 today. We have weekly charts to start off our report. This weekly chart here is in bar format, and this weekly chart is in Henkin format. First, let's go to our Henkin chart. As you can see, we have had a tremendously large up week if we look at the entire range of the week itself. In terms of how we look at the Henkin candle, of course, we still have this absence of tail. That's very important. And in terms of the body size, the body size has absolutely grown. And that tells us that the bullish trend that we're experiencing now is strengthening. On the right hand side we're looking at our basic bar chart and the reason for bringing that up is in terms of our channel lines and our bottom support line I have simply drawn in terms of our data point from this data point here you can see that it matches pretty closely here and here also this low at 1308 that's a pretty solid data point when we look at our resistance the upper channel line I have drawn the upper channel line from this one point here because from this one point here it also matched these highs. And if we look at where the market could go, if it just stays within this channel line, as you can see, we are looking at 1475 to 1500 on the gold market longer term. On today's report, I want to talk to you about my outlook next week, the position that we currently have, and make an announcement in terms of the launch date for the silver forecast. Traders, we are looking at our daily chart. This, of course, is in Henkin format also. This is the Henkin Ashi daily chart. And what I am noticing on the daily chart is, unlike the weekly chart, on our daily chart, you could see that the greatest strength in terms of the trend, and this is the absence of tails, was up to really about the middle of the week. As you can see, up till the middle of the week, we had at that absence of any kind of tails, and that showed us that the trend itself was strengthening. However, when we got that sell off the other day, you can see how it affected the uh, average charts here because if you notice we now have this very very long tail both upper and lower this is a daily bar chart it is one in which we have drawn some channel lines this is the spot market or forex gold and as you can see the market has been following quite nicely on these channel lines my sense is right now we ran into some resistance roughly at 1418 that was the high right in here i do believe that next week we have the opportunity to see this market go and test our all-time highs and that would be 1431 my personal feeling is i am looking for the market to take out this record top within the next week or two weeks. When we look at our four hour Henkin chart, again, each candle, Henkin candle, represents 240 minutes. It is quite apparent as the market came and hit these tops right in here, you can see that we did get that doji, that consolidating candle right here. And then, of course, that was followed by a round of profit-taking. You can see the profit-taking quite clear as these large two Henkin candles. You can also see the point in which the market consolidated because you can see that the, the body size really, really shrunk. And although we were still in red, you got this series of what I call doji-like candles, meaning that the range between in the body itself is very, very small. And we are now seeing the market begin to turn around. And what tells me that is the first green candle had a very, very sizable tail, as you can see right in here. But 
on this last part of trading, as you can notice, the tail has really shrunk on the bottom as well as the top. And that is a significant sign that the market has passed its consolidation point and is in fact looking to move to higher prices. Finally, when we look at a 240 minute candlestick chart, and that's the current chart that's up on the market, this of course again is the spot market, we can see this very, very strong support band that we have found at around $1,400. Traders, we are going to maintain our position. We are also going to maintain our stop. We will look to dollar cost average. I had thought about it yesterday, but I felt that the window of opportunity when that market hit below 1400, and you can see that right in here, was a very, very small window. And so to be able to let all of the traders that are on different time zones know about that is a strategy that I'm going to have to come up with. I do believe that we will see higher prices next week, both in gold and silver. Speaking about silver, we will be launching the silver forecast on March 7th, and I will have a special offer to existing subscribers of the gold forecast so that they can add the silver forecast to their daily arsenal and get that at a discounted price. I will provide a link for that discounted service for you. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading and we'll talk to you on Sunday for another daily review. Bye-bye.